So on this uh, first pre-spring day, actually warm, not like a spring day, but it's uh, transitory. Um, in my part of the world, I'd like to introduce the new DFXL, the new to me DFXL. Um, it's two and a half years since I took over the DF, it was DF number nine. This now is DFXL, I think it's the 100, I don't remember the year. I don't exactly know the number. And it has uh, a number of uh, um, upgrades to the early model that I used to ride. Um, but otherwise it is configured just the same. It is configured just the same as my previous one. With a 56 and 34 chain wheel dual set and 11 to 32 um, cassette so it has the same kind of range comparing to the quest that I ride that has a uh, 30 32 and the quattro Vader I ride is also a 30 32 here the granny gear speed is a bit higher my usual cadence it's around 9 to 10 to 11 9 between 9 and 11 kilometers per hour it's about 7 8 on the quest and uh, uh, around 6 on the quattro velo so this takes a bit more of an effort but on the other hand it basically feels the same as it uh, is uh, 10 kilos less than the quattro velo and still five, six kilos less than my quest. Now, what has been changed uh, since uh, the early DF that I was riding? Well, you know, my XL now, uh, I chose uh, because I can ride it with uh, a seat mat, which I wanted because one of the very few downsides of riding the DF was that I, I was uh, totally wet on the back. I'm still totally wet, but it feels different with the uh, with the ventilation providing seat. I don't need it for uh, seat comfort, for ride comfort, uh, even though it does give ride comfort, but I need it for, for less sweat. Um, then there is a new, hope you can see that, there's a new uh, damper uh, in there. It's a friction damper now. It, the the ones that I had, one that I had before was a DT Swiss uh, damper, which was a bit, um, too much for for the DF because it doesn't get the kind of load it gets on a mountain bike. Um, what else has changed? Um, those familiar with the early DFs, uh, there is no USB port anymore, and there is no no main switch on and off um, anymore. There's now a new uh, a battery system. They they went. You know, I had an earlier one which was a very big battery that I put over here. Um, this now is. Uh, um, state-of-the-art technology Lupina uh, company makes very good um, uh, bike lights but headlight batteries and everything um, so it's it's very it's very lightweight very small compact so you can easily carry a second one without knowing it and it still has enough energy for eight nine hours mirrors are the same as on my old one what they've also changed is the uh, steering uh, the steering now takes a bit more of an effort, um, but at the same time, uh, it uh, um, it is less twitchy, in the sense that that uh, you need to give a bit more of an impulse uh, to induce a steering uh, movement um, than with the DF, which means it's it feels less nervous. So it feels a bit more like the Quest, even though it isn't. Um, because the the uh, the ride is still very stiff, uh, the uh, um, EFXL is is as agile uh, with the uh, uh, modified steering as is the uh, as was my my early DF. See, this is also new. I I have it on the Quest. I have it on the Quattro Velo. I didn't have it on my first DF. It's very practical. Doesn't look so nice on the DF, but I still uh, uh, like the comfort of it. One more change is that little hole um, that they, I think, uh, have for the last 30, 40 uh, models that were delivered. Um, it makes it easier uh, to position the, uh, 
the idler wheel um, when you have to change it. Uh, so you you uh, you can you can put it into its position uh, more easily and, and can verify that the chain is is right. And they also went to a different idler. The idler, the front idler, uh, doesn't have teeth anymore. It should be running a bit uh, quieter. Um, you see the shoulder pads here. I didn't have shoulder pads on the DF because in my size, you know, I just I just uh, fit in the DF uh, as if it was a glove. Now the DFXL has a bit more width, which I find rather comfortable, but it means that uh, uh, I'm using shoulder pads now, as I do on my other uh, velocity. Here, here. You see the DFXL has these uh, stiffeners uh, because the this, this section here uh, is is larger than on the original DF, and so um, this was used to to make the upper body even more stiff. Mounts have changed here. They they now use this uh, to to seal um, the access hatch uh, because water used to be dripping uh, down uh, through here. It still may come through the uh, uh, screw hole. Uh, but shouldn't be that much. So now this this looks much better. Also, the screws are now not glued under it, but they are in it, um, which means that uh, particularly these two, which you could hit with your knees, uh, you will not hit, and should you do, uh, you won't you won't notice it. Now the major change is this. You see that the the bottom bracket is uh, is very the Q factor is very low. Um, I think it is even more narrow than it was before. Um, also, this um, arm for the for the derailleur here uh, has been changed. It's much more solid uh, than compared to the old one. You can still bend it if you wanted to, but it takes much less takes much less uh, uh, it takes much more effort. It's much stiffer. At the same time, the the positioning of the derailleur should make shifting uh, easier. I've tried it out. You see, I'm, I'm on the small ring now. Um, I've tried all gears uh, on my way up here. Uh, be, that's why I chose this climb, because it's one where I can actually use all the gears um, and, and really see how, um, how it works. And, and shifting back and forth, um, which in my old DF was always a bit uh, sensitive and required uh, uh, care and a bit of patience even now uh, is absolutely uh, swift, easy, uh, and a no-brainer. I went for the orange underside because I wanted a bit more visibility. My DF was all blue, like uh, the top, um, and I just had some, some orange applications uh, in, on the rear. Um, and the air intake in front. I still have them, same color, but now I've uh, also went for the orange underside, which I think gives it a bit more visibility. Why not all orange? Okay, because blue is like.
with its adaptive sphere in geometry is absolutely stable. You know, it's it's rock solid uh, even on uh, um, the, the last part of the road, which uh, which had more bumps um, even than than uh, further up. Um, I like it a lot. You know, it's this is a real improvement. I think it's the the single most significant improvement of uh, the current EF models over the early EF models. Another little improvement that I should mention is this uh, rubber band strap that you see there running from the steering arm to, to the front that kind of holds up the, uh, uh, the tiller, which is very convenient.